Nigerians have continued to count their losses as power supply across the country worsens due to maintenance action and backed upon by the Nigerian gas company to facilitate the maintenance of the Igbi power station, one of the largest thermal power stations in Nigeria, which was shut down on December 18, 2023, causing a substantial reduction in the nation's power grid's capacity. New Central's Perpetua Fasomi Peter spoke to local business owners in Lagos to gauge the impact of the load shedding on the operations. For about a week now, Nigerians have not had electricity. And the reason is not far-fetched. This is as a result of the maintenance work going on on the pipeline that supplies gas to a power generation company. But how many Nigerians are even aware of this reason? How many Nigerians know what the cost really is? Well, I'm on the street of Lagos to talk to as many Nigerians as possible to know, one, if they are aware of the cost of the blackout, and number two, how this has impacted them, especially for those who are into businesses. Since uh, last week, Friday evening, it started. 7,000 naira on a daily basis, every day, 7,000 naira fuel. So, and if I ask you look at it, I don't make it. For example, we, we run on two generators, and you know what the fuel and gas is saying in the market right now. So now, we are really running at a loss because we don't have light. I cannot buy fuel and buy diesel and sell at loss. I need to put it back on the market. Although the Transmission Company of Nigeria had released a statement on its official X platform stating the reason for the load shedding across the country, not many people are aware of this. I believe by this age, time and age in Nigeria, we should have an avenue to let us know what is really happening so that we not stuck. And up in now, we have not got feedback. We don't know what is wrong with light. And before you know, they will bring crazy bill. Because this period, this is December, and this is the season that we need the light most. Even if you don't have light in all that time, by this time, by as in this particular season, we need light. The Transmission Company of Nigeria had initially said the maintenance, which began on Monday, would only last 72 hours. This, however, does not seem to be the case, as many Nigerians are still dealing with near-total blackout for over four days. While the ongoing maintenance is crucial for ensuring the long-term reliability and safety of the power supply system, the question for many businesses is, how much longer before normalcy is finally restored? Perpetua Fasome Peter reporting for News Central.